Hi and welcome to RC Cocktail Love. I did not really know what I'm doing when I decided I want to start to fly inverted. I didn't know that I would have to eat the humble pie and taste the taste how it was to be a bloody beginner again. Because believe me, I am doing this only on the simulator now, but I am doing all possible mistakes. So whenever I turn the helicopter upside down, I am mixing the up with the down and the down with the up. So that means the helicopter loses altitude. I'm giving the wrong input and it loses it more and it's on the ground. For God's sake, it's in the simulator, but it is so hard to get this um, straight that you have to give the opposite inputs, you have to give up uh, to get down and you have to give the down input, so that means negative, neg negative pitch to get the helicopter up. The same is when I'm flying now tail in, inverted. Only The only thing that is working is right and left but all other things, so I'm putting the stick away from me, this thing flies to me. I'm putting the stick close to me, it's flying away from me. So it's the same like nose in hovering upright, um, but it looks totally different. And I have to learn everything from the very first beginning. So in my first video last week, I was flying like crazy. I was going inverted from a roll, from a backflip, from a front flip, and I was flying inverted so-called but it was drifting around without any control. And thanks to many comments from experienced pilots, I have seen that this makes no sense at all. So I have to learn to get disciplined, to take up the machine upright, put it on the back, maybe the best even with a roll, with a half roll of course, and then try to keep it on one place. It was, I think it's even more difficult than in the very beginning, the upright hovering. That was the first thing that I was, I, I was learning two and a half years ago. It's even more difficult because it looks so different and mm, everything is, 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 is different. At least when you are hovering upright, you take the stick to the front, the helicopter goes up. You go take the, front, the stick to the, to the down and the helicopter lands. So at the most critical point is that I have to learn from the very beginning again, learn flying upright. So at every session when I was flying inverted, I'm doing a little bit upright flight and I had to even then that I had these um, positive and uh, negative pitch um, the, the opposite way. So I wanted to land and gave positive pitch so the helicopter came up. I wanted to land slowly and I was going to give negative pitch so the helicopter was crashing into the ground. So I have to even learn the upright flying once again until I have these things sorted. So at the moment I'm working only on tail in like you um, commenting my first video are suggesting and this is really enough. But enough from talking, let's go flying. Now let's go, let's see how it goes. I cannot guarantee how long this flight will be. I try to bring this machine inverted with a side roll. The roll was okay, but you see the helicopter is floating all over the place. So <laughs> I was putting it up too high. Now I'm trying to keep the altitude place in one place. So it's very difficult because at the moment I'm doing some kind of old or it's much too close. You should never do something like this in real life. <laughs> this is also not, oh my goodness, oh, 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 oh my goodness. Okay, but no crash at least. So once again, trying to get inverted. Okay. 
and trying to keep the machine on one place. It was flying away. Oh, now a little bit better. And you can try to play with the collective. Negative, positive, positive pitch coming down. Negative, going up and so on. So this is what I have to do for hours and hours. And I tell you, I love it. Although it's very humble pie, although I'm still over the place, all over the place, now let's do it to come inverted with a backflip. Whoops, close. You see, corrections, corrections, thousand corrections. And I try to keep it on this field, but you see it's flying away. Probably there's some wind. Oops. And it is, I would love to keep it a few seconds on one place. But you see, or oh, a little bit better. Again, playing with the collective. Get her down to get a feel for the directions. Now I bring her up. So I don't want to make you tired with this, but it is horrible, horrible difficult. And I'm all the time doing some normal hover in upright to hover nose in, because again, I have to learn this because I'm not able, as you see, to keep this machine on one place. So, this was R.C. Kopdalov eating the humble pie and I decided I try it and I will give it a try. It's already better. I'm training it since, since, since 10 days and I'm doing this several hours per day. But these are small, small steps and it's my decision. I want to try it. I always can come back to normal upright flying. But I hope that one day I will make fine acrobatics with a little bit of inverted flying, then coming back. But first I have to know how to control the directions. And with this I say goodbye. If you like this video, give us a like. If you like it very much, please subscribe to our channel. Bye.